Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and today in my this particular video I am going to continue my discussion on this particular very popular AWS service which is called API Gateway. Okay. So already in my previous video I have discussed in detail about the concept of proxy and reverse proxy and I have also discussed about some fundamentals about this particular API Gateway. That is API Gateway is nothing but kind of reverse proxy. But what are those things I am going to discuss all in detail again. Just a quick recap. That is, first let's try to recall what is API. That is nothing but application programming interface. What it actually means, let us try to understand. Okay. So suppose you went to one particular hotel and there in kitchen, the food is getting prepared. Now you will not directly go to kitchen, right? What you will do, you will call an waiter and the waiter will take the order whatever you want to make and then the waiter will go to kitchen and will ask the chef to make all these foods and when chef will make the foods, waiter will bring the food to you, right? So waiter is kind of acting like an intermediate between you and kitchen. Whatever happening inside kitchen, you no need to worry about that. Only you ask waiter that I require these foods, waiter will bring the foods for you from the chef, right? So API is kind of same thing. In software development, you can just consider API like this way. That is, suppose you are in this particular system one and here you have opened one particular net banking and then you are suppose trying to see that how much total balance you are having for that particular account, you will press a button internal in the back end one particular api corresponding to the button will be called the api will go to actual program which is running in the bank and then the program will compute the result that is total amount present in that particular account it will give the amount into the api and the api will give the response back to the system one that is this is kind of acting like interface in between system one and system two right System 1, that is you are basically making request via one particular button press from the net banking that is kind of acting like request. The API will forward the request to the bank. The bank will compute everything which is required to get the total amount present in a particular account. You no need to worry about those calculations. All you need that total amount. So once that is computed, the bank will basically give the response to API and the API will respond back to you in this screen. So I hope this is nothing but API what is clear to you like kind of acting like the integrated be between front end and back end also you can see. Now just two important methods in API you need to remember. One is get, another one is post. Okay. So what the get method basically does, get is basically used to request data from a specific resource. That is for example, like I told you, right, you want to know how much total amount is present in a particular account, in a bank account, right? That is some information you want to get. That's why that time we use get method. And post method is something, suppose we want to send data to the server via API. That is from the system one, we want to send some amount of data to system two. That time the method what we will be using that is called post method. This is generalized concept. I hope you are getting later. We'll be discussing about all these in details also. Right. So now one more thing we need to know before going ahead further with the lab part. What is resource path? Okay. So resource path is something in our day to day life we many times encounter. That is suppose you consider this URL. Resource path will basically tell us where actually we will be getting the data or we will be putting the data using get or post method. Okay. Like for example, if you consider one HTTP URL, here HTTP ES is basically URL schema and then here is our actual endpoint or website link and then after that we are giving some slash and then we are specifying some path. So in that particular path only our actual data will be available. So on this resource path, I can share one very simple example that is suppose I will go to my web browser and here I will be writing HTTPS that is secured colon slash slash our actual uh, Google website is www.google.com so here we are hitting 
So now see, currently www.google.com is our actual endpoint. HTTPS is basically uh, telling that is secured connection. And now suppose we want to see map. Okay, that is our resource where we will be getting some information. So for that, we will mention some path. That is, we will say that after the endpoint, we will give one more slash and then here we will write map. Okay, that time it will be leading us to, uh, I have to write maps. So here it will take us to basically Google map. Okay, right. So this way, basically all we need to do in after our original endpoint, we need to mention the resource path. Okay, so HTTPS colon slash slash, then our endpoint, and then we can specify maps to go to our actual resource where actually our data is present, right? So I hope the resource path concept is clear to you. That is something like this way. That is for any URL, here URL schema is there, then the endpoint, and then whatever we specify where we want to go, like that it's more slash we can specify. That is something called as resource path. So that will be helping us to understand the API Gateway Lab, right? So we have understood already what is API. Let us try to understand what is API Gateway. So like for example, as I have told you that API is kind of acting like intermediator. So whatever user want to know or client want to know, they can make a request. API will go to the backend. That backend may be some EC2, Lambda or any other microservices, some database or anything. It will get the response and it will send the response back to the user. Okay. So API gateway is kind of acting like gateway from the name itself. You can understand. Okay. Kind of centralized system we can say like for example this user is requesting something for which the requirement will be fulfilled by the microservice one so now api gateway will understand okay fine this user's request can be answered by this microservice one so it will basically route the traffic or that request to microservice one suppose this user is requesting something and that request can be fulfilled by maybe microservice three API Gateway know that. So what the API Gateway will do? It will forward the request to microservice 3 and whatever response it will be getting back from microservice 3, it will forward to user 2. Maybe user 3 is requesting something and that request can be fulfilled by the microservice 2. API Gateway know that. Okay. So what API Gateway will do? API Gateway will basically forward the request to microservice 2 and it will be getting the response and it will be sending back to user 3. Like that, API Gateway will basically understand which request can be fulfilled by which microservice in the backend and it will fulfill and send back the response to the corresponding front-end users or clients. So more or less, this is nothing but our API Gateway picture. Now, without any further delay, what I will do, I will like to show you one simple lab, okay? So here, we are sitting as client, we will be making one HTTP request, okay, maybe get request we, we are going to use. Get request means what? I have told you get request means we want to get some data. So we will be trying to get some data. So the request will be sending to API Gateway and suppose that particular request what we are doing that can be fulfilled by some AWS Lambda, okay. Maybe that Lambda is connecting to some database from the database it will fetch the data and it will be sending back the response to API Gateway and the response that is database data information it will be sending from API gateway to the client like that kind of mechanism I am going to create currently I am not going to create some database connection with lambda function just I am going to show you one simple lab as part of this discussion we are going to see one simple demo okay so all I need to do I will go to AWS management console here I'll be going to AWS lambda and in AWS lambda here I will go to create function and here hello world okay hello world api data like that some name i am giving and then here maybe python 3.7 i'll be choosing and then here we can go to create function so first what we are doing we are basically creating our aws lambda function okay then we will be making some request and that request will hit the api gateway api gateway will fulfill the response by getting the information from this AWS Lambda. Okay, right? So here maybe hello from Lambda instead of that, hello from we can write just like this way hello world API gateway demo like that. Okay, so basically as soon as API will 
hit this lambda, the lambda will return this particular one. Hello world API gateway demo. Maybe let me deploy this. And if I deploy that, so now here I can go to test section and I can click on test. Okay. See it is starting and it is returning hello world API gateway demo. Now suppose we want to get this via API. All I need to do, I will go to AWS management console and here I'll be going to AWS API gateway and here I can go to here see different API type we can create. Currently I am showing one simple HTTP API. REST API is something old version but it is having some more functionalities also available. So we can explore all those other options later. Let me show you with one HTTP API. So this is four step process. So first step we need to make one integration. So this API gateway will hit lambda right. So we will choose lambda and our lambda function is hello world API data. So this is our basically lambda function which API gateway will trigger to satisfy the request. And then here API name I can give hello world. Okay right. I can go to next and then see I have told you right that there are different methods available. Gate method, post method like that. So currently let us choose get method. So we want to get some information from lambda. That's why I am choosing get method and resource path. What is resource path? I already told you, right? That is not only the original endpoint, but after that we need to specify the resource path also to get the actual information or resource what we are trying to find. So when we will go to this particular location, it will be basically hitting this particular lambda in the backend, which is hello world API data. That is integration target. All right, we can go to next stage name. So stage are basically independent configurable environment. Okay, in real time project DF, QA, prod, etc. There similarly here we can create different environment. Currently I am keeping as default auto deploy. So as soon as we click on next, we can create and the API this particular API gateway will be auto deployed. Okay, right. So see it is deployed and here. We can see successfully it is created the API. Now see invoke URL. So now if we click on this URL, API gateway will go at the back end, it will hit the lambda, will take the response. What response? That is nothing but this particular one hello world API gateway demo and it will be giving us, it will be returning us as a response from the server, right? So let us hit that. If we hit that, we are getting here message not found. Why is this? We basically executing get request. So I have told you right that we have to write the resource path also. Currently it is having only HTTPS and the endpoint. So what is our resource path? Our resource path if you recall hello world API data right. This is our resource path with get method. So if I hit that see you will be getting hello world API gateway demo. That is basically nothing but it is coming from this particular lambda function. Okay. And this particular resource path I added, like I told you, I can show you here also. Maybe I can go to routes and here you can see hello world API data is our API. Here we have basically created get method and see here get method route is basically this one hello world API data. So not only the endpoint, but we have to put the resource path also with this slash and then we are getting the response. Hello world API gateway demo. So this is basically nothing but this particular demo implemented. That is we hitted one URL. There is HTTP get request that went to API gateway. API gateway triggered AWS Lambda. It got the response. It took the response and it has shown us in the console. So now what you can do, maybe you can connect lambda with S3, lambda with some RDS or something in the backend server, EC2 or whatever and then take some database data information, whatever is required to send and that you can send via the API request also. That kind of advanced lab what we are going to solve in our upcoming videos, okay. I will be covering all of those. So I hope the fundamental concept of API gateway is clear to you. This is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all latest videos. Thank you.